going to do a crossband mod on my TS2000 because I've decided to try to create or to make work Kenwood's Sky Command feature. Now it's no it's only normally available on, on the model K version of this radio which is the American version um, so what I'm going to do is do the K mod um, alongside the Mars mod oh goodness I've forgotten how stiff that is okay need to take all this off to get the front cover off. I think we possibly do. Long time since I've taken this one apart. for the job. soda. I don't need a blob of soda, I just need a blob of something holding it there. Okay. Can you see what I'm trying to get to? It's this diode or zero ohm resistor just there. Here, I might just clean everything off. Okay, removed. That's basically it. Let me put it back together. And uh, let me just drop out of the video a moment to take this opportunity to, uh, to explain a couple of things to you. The first one is that the Sky Command is um, not available in every country. Uh, you also need to check your license conditions to make sure that it's actually permitted uh, where you are. Um, so anyway, this video is to show you how to use it for those people that do have uh, the, uh, um, the license permission. Um, and uh, the next part is uh, what you need to do, the setup Sky Command. OK, you need to do the um, the modification if your radio isn't um, a Model K. And if um, you've done the modification, check your license to make sure that you're legally allowed to use it in your, in your area. Um, and then you need to set up two um, frequencies to, to use the um, Sky Command on it. Anyway, continue with the video. Cheers for watching. Okay, turn the radio on. Select the frequencies that you want to use. Um, in my particular case, I've uh, decided on the digital part of the two meter band for the main and the digital part of the uh, 70 centimeter band for the um, control part of it. Uh, so 144 uh, decimal 850 and uh, 432 decimal 850 
Okay, we then hit our menu button. Now you may have seen the uh, the video or in the earlier part of this video, be removing a set of um, diodes from this radio to allow for the sky command. Now, uh, if you don't remove those um, resistor stroke diodes, um, you can't get to menu 62, I think it is. Yes, there it is, sky command. Menu 62, press sub. Uh, now, in the uh, call sign, you need to put in your your call sign. That's easy. Um, and it's done by you know entering it up and down and all the rest of it. And then, and then in 62B, it's the um, transponder call sign, which is exactly the same as your command call sign. Um, you then need to choose a CTCSS code tone. Um, and in this one, I've left the default at the 88.5. Um, and I've also left this default, which is the bit rate or the bud rate, board rate uh, of the uh, the system. And now the final one is defining what this radio uh, is going to be. Now it can either be a client now the client means it needs to connect to a um, a PC and it becomes the client of the PC for things like um, internet link etc so in this particular instance I don't want it on client I don't want it on command because that means it's commanding another radio I want it set to transponder okay or trans yeah transponder or transporter whatever you want to call it and once it's set to that you just hit the, uh, the menu button again and now uh, it's in sky command it's going to receive all of its signals uh, on the uh, ultra high frequencies and then respond back to me on the vhf frequencies um okay and this is now the the, uh, the frequency that's going to be transferred to the command module anyway right transferred to the car still got the uh, cellophane look as you can see on the on the screen i haven't taken it off yet so this is a new radio which i've just um purchased this is a, a kenwood um T tmd 710g um which allows me to control via uh, sky command the the ts2000 um, now let me set that up for you. So I need to go to um, the UHF upload frequency um, for the Sky Command and also the VHF frequency for the Sky Command. So you can see I've done it on both of those. Um, I now need to go to the F button. And then the um, VFO set, uh, you'll see Sky Command is happily flashing away there. I hit the Sky Command, and on this radio I need to set the same bits and pieces. Um, the, the Commander call sign is um, my call sign. The, the Transporter call sign is my call sign. Uh, I need to set the, the tone to the same as the um, the TS-2000s. And obviously I now need to turn around and tell it that it's going to be the commander. Give it a few seconds. And it's now saying to me, OK, start command. I need to press zero on the mouse, on the mouse, on the uh, microphone. So here we go. And there we go. So we have 1400 here. And this is where it's going to be useful to have two uh, two cameras. So you can see it happening at the same time. 1400. Um, it's in Sky Command. I only need to set... Where do I... Uh, I forgot where the commands are now. One of these allows me to put in... There you go. So I want to be at 28... Uh, 450. 
zero, zero. Wait a moment. Now we should now see that changed on the um, on this on the TS two thousand. Um, now I can turn on receive um, by pressing number two. It will start the transmitter on the TS two thousand. And now receive is on. Okay. M0 MSN testing. And if you notice, when USB Twenty-eight four fifty. So there you are. Still plenty of life left in the old uh, TS two thousand yet, um, and uh, with the the help of the uh, the the D seven ten, I've now obviously got a um, the Sky Command working. It's really as simple as that. Um, you can transmit on twenty eight point. Um, 450 or or any other frequency indeed that uh, the TS2000 is capable of uh, of um, uh, transmitting on uh, via Sky Command um, using two or 70 centimeters. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to have a look at uh, doing some cross band uh, repeating. Uh, again, I must stress that it, if it's not uh, a license um, thing in your country. Um, then don't do it. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Cheers for now.